Hello, this is Doug, and I've got a Pack Keep Live board, a prototype version of it anyway. Let's see if we can get it there. That we're going to install, at least see how to install, in a Hasbro pack. So just make sure the pack's live. So everything's fine, and let's do a little prep work first. And uh, well, I guess what you probably know is there's no back on this, so the back has been taken off. And that was a lot of screws. And then uh, one thing that would be good to do, just for show, you don't have to do this, but uh, there's two screws here that need to be removed. One here and one here. And then this whole panel will just slide right out. And that just opens this up. Uh, one other thing is I do want to put a battery back here. So what we can do is this uh, ferrite core there is kind of in our way. so. I can undo this and then we just thread that through the little core and again and you're able to get this thing to really move you want that ferrite to go way down to the other end of the connector so let me just it's just wrapped twice through here so now with that over here we can plug this cable back in it's just the white cable. Let's see if you can, yeah, can kind of see that. So once that in, now you'll see we got a little bit more room over on this side. And you'll see why in a second. Okay, a minute. So in this, uh, you take the board, and uh, right now they're all white connectors. I'm sourcing to see if I can really get the yellow and the purple connector to match up. But you take the purple wire out from the board, Plug it in the labeled purple connector over here. So just plug that in. Then we take the yellow cable out of the board and we plug that into the labeled yellow connector over here. And then we take the white one and take that out and plug that into the white connector over here. So now we've got uh, the switches up to the new Keep Alive board. So we have the highly custom cable here. Hopefully that'll get cleaned up a little bit. Uh, I didn't have any purple wire, so I had to go with blue. So uh, this one, and I'm trying to source purple connectors here too. So it'd be the same thing. Uh, those ones you pulled out, we just need to plug in these new ones. Here, let's see if I can do this without hitting the camera too often. So the purple goes to purple. The white goes to the white connector. Yeah, that one got right. And then the yellow one goes over to the yellow connector. And then uh, with some double face tape you can put it on the back of this thing and just set the board here up on the side. So it should look about like that. Now, right now, with this in here, we can see nothing happens. And that's because the other part I added down here is one switch. And the reason for the switch is this board does draw a little bit of power. So uh, to make sure that you can turn it off with that switch being the uh, auxiliary switch that's really not connected to anything here, uh, you can use that and now it can enable this. So at this point, nothing too exciting. Um, it would be keeping the pack alive. That would be a long, boring video. That will be for later. So this is just an installation one. Now, what I've wanted to is, uh, I'm tired of those batteries, so let's get a uh, 9800 milliamp hour, milliamp hour battery in, and it's got a power switch, and if you take that, you should be able to slide it in here, and so that's why uh, removing that uh, ferrite there would help, and Here's the charge cable that's inside. It'll all fit inside. 
And then this comes over here and can plug directly into this board. So we've got a uh, switching power supply in here. And then we no longer need this. Let's see if I can pull that out. Well, the nice part is those connectors are very steady there. Okay, I need my screwdriver. So, we now remove the battery completely from this. So the only thing is this. Move our power switch over to the 12 volt connector. Set my screwdriver down. So now, all we've got is the 12 volt battery going into this thing. And we're back to working just like we were before with a lot higher capacity battery. Capacity battery. So there you have it. That is the quick no solder installation. And uh, hopefully we get more videos later. Thanks. Bye.